The former Prime Minister Gordon Brown says the country's biggest sex abuse scandal was uncovered by a Nottinghamshire social worker. He's been speaking at the independent inquiry into child sexual abuse. Today, Mr Brown called for compensation for thousands of former child migrants. He said they were sent to countries like Australia in a form of government-induced trafficking. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports. With 931 new migrants to this country. They were promised a better life and resettled across the British Empire, but it was compulsory. Many were told they were orphans, and that simply wasn't true. Some youngsters on the child migration programme were used as forced labour. Many were subjected to horrific abuse. The scandal was uncovered by Margaret Humphreys, a former Nottinghamshire social worker whose Child Migrants Trust has been fighting for justice from its base in West Bridgeford. And today this former Prime Minister came to give evidence about it at the Independent Child Abuse Inquiry. This seems to me as probably the biggest national sex abuse scandal bigger than what people have alleged about Savile, bigger than what people have alleged about individual children's homes. I'm shocked about the information that I've seen, but I do not believe that we would be sitting here today looking at this particular aspect of abuse had it not been for the work of Margaret Humphreys and the Child Migrant uh, Trust. John Reddington spent most of his life in Australia after being taken from his family in Ilkeston. By the time he tracked them down, his mother was already dead. To each and every one, I say today, we are truly sorry. In 2010, Gordon Brown apologised on behalf of the British government for sending children abroad and offered help to reunite their families. Today, though, he went further, saying survivors should now get compensation for their abuse. I hope that you would be in a position to make recommendations about um, uh, those people who, um, in my view, require compensation for this failure of the duty of care. We're dealing here with the loss of identity, the loss of a sense of uh, belonging, uh, something equivalent, you might say, to a modern form of government-induced uh, trafficking. And here at the Child Migrants Trust, they've put some tough questions to another former Prime Minister. Today, the Child Abuse Inquiry heard a written statement from John Major defending his government's record on helping former child migrants to find their families before it was too late. Jeremy Ball, BBC East Midlands Today, West Bridgeford.